And we're live. Welcome to the 23rd Sprint Review of the Common Stacks uh, Sprint Program. We love to do these videos for you every week uh, or every two weeks to kind of give you a review of what the happenings in the space. And there is so much going on every sprint. I don't even know how we get through it uh, so quickly, but we're going to try. Uh, so uh, first off for me, I'll just take it away. Uh, I was in MCON this week and hanging out with the Meta Cartel crew. I got to speak about critical infrastructure for DAOs with John Pollard and also just connect with uh, the Meta Cartel community, Raid Guild and, and that side of that side of the space, which honestly, somehow we, I don't feel like we have enough bridges. I'm really excited to start uh, connecting more with Raid Guild and even using them for certain uh, processes in the common stack. And also I got to spend a lot of time with Zach from Coordinate and, uh, and other important uh, uh, people that are in our space fighting the good fight for public goods. Uh, another big thing that was happening this week is advancing the, uh, the work that we're doing on the Trusted Seed dashboard. We're gonna turn the Trusted Seed dashboard into a product. It's not just gonna be the Swiss membership dApp, but it's gonna solve a lot of, we're, gonna try, we're trying to figure out exactly how to scope it. Major shout out to Chris, uh, Christopher, who's talking, uh, been uh, really working through the different options, looking at different inspirations and UI and trying to sort through uh, how do we, what, what's, what do we want to include in the scope for the MVP? What, where do we actually uh, uh, start uh, onboarding members and onboarding DAOs to the trusted seed? There's so many awesome features to consider and how do we pick them? So thank, thankfully Christopher is uh, taking, uh, taking it so seriously and doing so many stakeholder interviews. Also this week, uh, there's of course Gitcoin, which I'll let Chris talk more about. But uh, I, in the Common Simulator project, we last round we received about 80% of the LATAM matching, and that was a little bit too much. Yes, almost the entire Common Simulator team is Latin America, but because it's not like such a Latin American focused project, we felt a little guilty of getting so much funding from the community. And so we gave back 15K. We actually gave back 20K of what we received, about half of what we received to this round. Uh, we ended up uh, uh, putting 15K into the matching pool for Latin American grants. And uh, we also uh, had a little donation party. And uh, at this in this tweet, we talk of, we spent an hour looking at all the different Latin American grants and donating to them as the common simulator team. And we actually, uh, just to increase their matching. And we, in this video, we actually each talk about our favorite Latin American grant. It's super cool if you wanna see the different uh, action going on in the public good space in Latin America. And with that, I'll pass it to Tam to talk about our sprint name, which is super cool. <laughs> I promise I have more to talk about. <laughs> but um, we're wrapping up sprint 23. And I just need to take a moment to say, Ivy, you are my hero. <laughs> well, without fail now for so many sprints, you've come out with these beautiful and meaningful names. Um, so I'll take a moment to talk about retuning, <laughs> uh, which is um, harvesting crops by cutting the above ground portion and then leaving the roots, which will later um, produce fresh crops. Uh, and the word retune comes from two Latin words, retensus, uh, reton, retonsis and retono, which means to cut down and to thunder back. And it's just such a beautiful image and it creates such beautiful visuals in my mind that I think it might be my favorite. A fine tilt was hard to beat, but I think retuning might be my new favorite. Uh, so uh, if you want to see what we're doing every sprint, we just closed up sprint 23, but we will be um, planning a new sprint on a Monday for the next two weeks. Uh, jump into our sprint board. Uh, you can see the uh, issues that are being worked on in our sprint backlog and in progress. Um, okay, and now a few updates from the TEC about the TEC, which is the first field deployment of the Common Stack Technical and Cultural Bills. Uh, one of the big things that happened there last week was there is a nomination for a new steward who uh, really deserves it. Um, uh, there was just a beautiful, hold on, I'm going to see if I can find it without wasting your time. There's a, just a really touching description, a nomination for, um, let's see it. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, so um, sorry, I'm gonna take up a few minutes, but I think it's worth it. So his nomination ran like this. Mitch has been participating in the TEC since February. 
His ideas and contributions span back end, front end, comms, and beyond. They are invaluable. He frequently posts in the forum on numerous issues, including both technical development and our cultural build. He is also thoughtful, insightful, compassionate, even community focused and mission vision value aligned. I think he would make an exemplary steward. I think that's a really nice, um, nice way to uh, to nominate somebody. Um, the TEC stewards working group also had their first TEC stewards council, which is specifically a discussion group to uh, to discuss complex issues. So complex top topics, things that are very hairy, things that uh, are really amb uh, ambiguous and need some sort of reining in to understand better, to, to inspect and understand. And uh, last week or this week, it was um, how to fund different working groups. And there was a uh, start by talking about the mission, vision, values of the TEC, and then considering some, um, and then considering the ideas and thoughts and considerations when uh, putting together funding proposals for the for the working groups. Uh, and lastly, there is the TEC roadmap um, timeline, really. Um, where we, uh, where the TEC has all of the different working groups and the work streams that they're doing uh, and when they're expected to be worked on per sprint. There's also a session section for hatchers. So a lot of you trusted seed uh, or hatchers in the TEC uh, and what you can actually do to participate in the TEC and when that would, uh, is expected to happen. So yeah, I hope you like that. And with that, I will pass to Livia. Thank you. I apologize, my bad connection today. Hopefully, sharing screen won't be a problem. So, we have some uh, proposals to be voted on. And um, if you're listening to this call, you're probably in the trusted seed. And if you're in a trusted seed, it, it's very likely that you can vote on this proposal because you probably participated in the hatch of the TC. So we are doing token weighted vote and this one time change of TEC addresses is gonna be the first time that a proposal is gonna be submitted to the hatched out. So um, it's gonna be live on Tuesday and you can read all about it here and participate. Um, this is mostly giving a chance to um, participants of the hatch that had a problem in their addresses and they had to change it. So this is a one-time opportunity that people had to change their addresses and remint the tokens. Um, this is um, most likely not going to happen uh, again anytime soon. So it's very important for, for us that um, this is happening now at this stage. And if you had your address changed, you probably will like to vote on this proposal and to participate. And the other one that is live now on Snapshot is the 75% governance give back. So we're doing a snapshot vote because uh, the actual implementation of this proposal will have to be designed still by the Common Swarm team. So the idea is to give uh, governance power back to the people that receive the deduction in the impact hours. Um, maybe you need to read a little bit more to understand the whole context of this proposal because there's a big history of it into how we were looking into praise and rewarding contributors. Um, but this is a, it's an interesting proposal because it could open some research and understanding on separating uh, governance power from uh, financial compensation from tokens. So, if you're interested in that, take a look and, and give your feedback and vote. That would be really important for us. And then moving on to reward systems, actually, that proposal has a lot to do uh, with the praise uh, debate and intervention that happened in all of the process of looking into rewards that this opened up and how we are uh, trying to bring improvements to praise and also looking into praise as a product. There are many other teams that would love to use praise and uh, how can we make it easier and better 
and integrate other reward systems as well, like SourceCred, Alexandra, that was developed by the LTF team. And major praise to Christopher, who came in to own, own this process, and he's making uh, beautiful contributions, and he made this, um, this mural board explaining like how everything happens. Uh, we've been discussing with a whole team of amazing people that have been helping with this. So if you want to check it out, uh, the link is in here. And also um, we had, was it last week or two weeks ago? We had a panel with uh, Griff and Zach and Octopus and uh, MetaDreamer from um, Coordinate and Praise and uh, Metacred talking about, and from a data science perspective, talking about reward systems because we're starting a reward systems research group with the support of the Token Engineering Academy as an initiative of the Go Governance group. So there is a lot of discussion happening in this front and you can watch this panel that was super interesting uh, in this link that will be here as well. And um, also we, um, we recently onboarded Kelsey to the case studies and we have a new team for looking into the TEC learning processes and uh, what has been the cultural build process for us. What are some insights that can help uh, other communities when building a community, uh, a self-governed community. So uh, Kelsey, uh, Nate, Katie, and I prepared the survey and we got a lot of uh, very interesting feedback about some cultural challenges of the TEC. So we had a call to address them and we had many ideas for how to tackle some of these issues and we're gonna start working on them um, moving forward. And also um, talking about cultural issues and things that we can start addressing. Uh, there is a Graviton training happening, is the second Graviton training. And uh, there is just one call that happened already and it was really, really interesting, led by Durga Das. And there is so much uh, content being shared and there are new speakers in this, um, in this training now. And it's gonna go until the end of November so check it out, it's definitely worth it. And you can be a Graviton in the communities you're uh, participating in. And with that, I'll pass to Chris. Awesome, thanks Livy. So uh, from the communication side, uh, this, this sprint we spent a lot of our time uh, and focus on two major things, uh, Gitcoin grants and the Regen Foundation Partnership uh, AMA. So uh, the Regen Partnership, uh, will, in case you didn't know, it will initiate the Trusted Seed as the first community staking DAO, uh, which will steward allocated non-transferable C regen tokens and allow the Trusted Seed to become stakeholders in the regen network governance. Uh, you can review the AMA call if you missed it. Uh, it's on our YouTube channel. The recording is there. Um, and you can also dig into our blog post um, about the partnership if you are interested in some more detail around that. Um, there was another round of Gitcoin grants that just wrapped up the other day. We ran another conviction voting round for the Trusted Seed uh, to, pick the, uh, to pick the projects that we would support for the Common Stack Pambala community round. So if you are unaware of that, we run a conviction voting uh, program each, each grant round. Uh, the Trusted Seed picks the top 15 projects and any donations that we get to the community fund uh, particularly in PAN, gets extra matching. Um, and we, yeah, we just try and top up uh, some of the other great projects that are in the ecosystem uh, through that grant. So um, if you weren't able to participate this round, keep an eye out, we'll be running it next round as well. Um, so uh, yeah, we shared, we also shared another uh, number of uh, CS ecosystem grants throughout the round, uh, mostly on Twitter. So a big thank you to Akene, Ivy, and Peter for helping us uh, get the word out on all of that. And thank, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you who uh, got out and uh, saw, saw the word getting out, uh, got to, went out to get coin grants and donated either to us or to any of the other grants. Thank you for, uh, for getting in, get participating and helping 
allocate funding to public goods. It's really appreciated. It's a great uh, a great program, and we're uh, really happy to be uh, taking part in that. So. Um, the onboarding gamification is also developing nicely. Uh, we're very excited to when we uh, can start rolling it out. Uh, hopefully it'll make onboarding to CommonStack uh, feel a lot more fun, uh, a little more game-like and uh, seamless. And hopefully it, we're also planning to have it lead to a uh, central contributors hub. So it's a little bit easier, uh, simplifies some of the first tasks and first asks for uh, contributors coming in. So uh, if you are new, if you'd like to uh, get more involved in contributing, feel free, uh, reach out to me um, and we can get you get you going. So, and that's, that's it from communication side and I will pass to Jess. Hey everybody. I'm just going to share my screen. Can you see? So, oops, that's the wrong one. Um, so, yeah, I guess the, the main things that happened in the last two weeks so much um, in was in Berlin uh, with Jeff and a bunch of colleagues meeting up. We can see the giant list here. Uh, we met with Angela with TE Academy. Peter Hacker, our lovely collaborator, Moritz from Holochain, Adam from Local Currency. I guess I don't have to mention everybody. The Taoist met with uh, Peko of Economic Space Agency, who is a behavioral economist, a game designer. Pat and Gem with Curve Labs had a lot of fun with them. Jonathan with CADCAD EDU, Trent McConaughey, our advisor who runs Ocean Protocol, Renzo, another collaborator, Julio with Circles UBI, Beth with Gnosis, and Kia from Gnosis and Region. So it was quite a fruitful event. I'll just show a few fun pictures. There's us with Renzo who collaborates on governance research. And then there's us with Hollow Chain, the Taoist, Peter, and a bunch of uh, rad people. And then there's us having a coffee and a tea at Cafe Grund I'm Common, which is the headquarters of Circles UC. So that was super fun and um, really cool to hear from them how they're organizing with their um, complimentary currency project and unconditional basic income. So that was really interesting um, to see their headquarters and hang out with them. Uh, and then, um, yeah, the other big thing in partnerships was the IXO token drop. Um, so all of you in the trusted seed who participated, you should be receiving those tokens over the next week. Um, if you have any questions, you can, of course, reach out um, and we will help connect with um, Sean Conway, who we also met in Berlin. Sean Conway, uh, we had a great dinner with him and got to chat about IXO and uh, IXO and Interchain Foundation and all the exciting stuff they're working on with, uh, with Cosmos blockchain ecosystem. So that was incredible. And yeah, um, you should have those tokens in your Impact Hub uh, Cosmos Kepler wallet. Um, and just yeah, reach out um, to me uh, if you need any help with that on Telegram or Discord. Happy to make sure that you got that and look forward to hearing from you guys and your experience in using that. So love to hear from you like, yay, we got our tokens. Um, yeah, the other big uh, project that I've been working on is um, for common stack research is to document governance tooling um, so that we can share uh, this research with other communities who are looking at tools for decision making. So um, I am supporting with the Git book and documenting things that are happening in our partner commons TEC. So looking at the cultural layer, the funding layer, and the smart contract layer, the various tools. Um, some people, you know, still haven't heard about conviction voting um and are looking at tools across the board uh, for various decisions so this is um beginning to shade some context on that and we'll be expanding over the next uh, months on some of the governance research around polycentric governance and documentation and uh, griff and i had a great time hanging out with our friends at doge disco and decentralized dance parties we were invited thank you gary lachance our buddy for inviting us to take part in the world peace day it was a really beautiful gathering um, of amazing hearts and brains talking about how decentralization and and all of these web3 movements can help us um, to solve some of our big global challenges and there were some really incredible speakers. So that, that recording should be coming out just soon. If you didn't get a chance, it was really fun. And then they did a big decentralized global dance party after the fact. So yeah, really fun to touch in um, with that community. 
who's on a mission to win the Nobel Peace Prize for partying and achieve peace uh, through dance parties. So great mission there. Love you, Gary. Uh, next uh, thing to chat about is, so we are organizing and getting a little creative for common stock. We're gonna start getting into NFTs. So the Miami Crypto Experience is November 10 through 12, and we're gonna bring the impact to uh, Miami Crypto Experience. And we're gonna be having a big uh, NFT gala and auction, which will be featuring a common stack NFT uh, to support all of the work for our nonprofit organization um, and all the work that we do. So there is a pretty cool event coming. Um, we'll be announcing more information about that. So it's a pretty going to be a pretty fun event um, that we'll be participating in. And we're going to start experimenting with NFTs for the common stack to fund our various projects and organizations. So looking forward to having that. I think I've hit everything. And we have one more announcement at the end that I'm working on at the moment. And meantime, we'll pass it to, who am I passing it to? Passing it to Akene. Are you next? Hey, um, uh, apologies. Um, my network, it's a bit crappy today. <clears throat> okay, so um, hi guys. It's been an amazing um, time during this sprint. We had amazing things, just like Chris said. We had the region announcement, and then we had Gitcoin, and then again we had our very first um, uh, non-technical guide to the common stack, and you know how it's it's uh, something that was put together by an amazing contributor Anna Marie. So you could get yeah. to um, read it and follow it. We even did an intro video. It was so cool. It guides you into it. Gets gets you to be excited about it and want to read it. So uh, it's it's something you should try out. And um, we're quite, quite very excited about how you know you all have been engaging with us on the socials. Uh, uh, LinkedIn is just off the roof. We have a massive 12.17% increase from you know, last sprint. Um, you appreciate the content. You keep sharing that. And our Twitter analytics is just doing amazing. So this is a quick shout out to all of you. Keep bringing it. And do remember um, to keep engaging. Tag your friends. Tell them about it. Come on, start. Bring them on board. You know, get them become members of Trust the Seed. And you get to enjoy all that comes through all these activities we roll out on Common Stack. So thank you so much. I'll pass it back to Griff. Oh my gosh, so much awesome stuff. Uh, so, but first, before I go into all the praise from all the people who couldn't be with us, one very uh, important member of our team isn't here. You may have noticed our trusted seed gardener. Uh, he's not here because he's celebrating his birthday. So I want to, uh, we have this really fun ritual, which is singing happy birthday in a very disjointed uh, way, because online singing happy birthday doesn't quite harmonize as well as it does in real life. But you know what? It's really fun. So unmute your mics and let's sing happy birthday to Dan. <laughs> unmute, unmute, unmute. <laughs> happy birthday to, to you. Happy, there we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Dan. Happy birthday to you. We love you, Dan. Uh, happy birthday. Love you, Dan. Happy birthday to you. Dan Hat. Many years ago. Yeah, luckily we don't uh, we don't sing professionally. That's not our job. Uh, but what is our job is to give gratitude to all the awesome people who made all this work possible. There's only a few of us on this call, but the Common Stacks community is everything. Uh, so I want to dish praise to Peter Yaler and all the other organizers of MCON, Christopher for pushing forward the Trusted Seed dashboard, Kyle and Disruption Joe for all the help with the Common Simulator uh, Gitcoin donation, uh, and also Santi for suggesting 15K donation to the LATAM pool, and uh, of course Sam and Lauren and uh, Vitor and Fabio and uh, Danny and uh, for uh, donating, oh and Andrew. 
uh, for donating uh, in my in real person, uh, being part of the donation party. And I want to praise Ivy for all the awesome behind the scenes work, adding the names and all so much magic that she does for us. Mitch for his incredible work in the TEC, totally deserving of Community Steward. Chewy, Degunta, Daeth, Eduardo, Ivy, Wonka, Mitch, Nate, Nick, Ryder, Santi, Zeps, Craig, Durgadas, Manu, and, uh, and probably maybe a couple others for attending and participating in the uh, first TEC Steward Council. Zepp and Dan for their hard work pushing forward the change of address proposal. Wonka and Sam for their work pushing forward the 75% governance give back uh, project uh, or proposal. Christopher for pushing forward the reward system process. Zach, Octopus, Hamad, uh, and the rest of the governance uh, organizing uh, people who did put on that awesome panel. Uh, the Kel Kelsey, Katie, and Nate for pushing for the case studies. Wonka, Durgadas, uh, and and everyone who attended the first Graviton training, but special praise to Wonka and Durgadas for hosting it. Ivy and Peter for helping out with the Gitcoin grants comms justice for continuing to work on and edit the onboarding gamification assets uh ravati uh kia uh will and the region team for working with us uh, on the ama to help share the word uh sean conway and ixo for recognizing the value of the trusted seed uh and and uh actually giving us all an airdrop, which is super cool. And Anna Marie for her guest blog and all the work that went into it. Awaki and the entire Gitcoin Grants team for their amazing work funding public goods. Uh, let's see, Greg Landu, Kia, Kr uh, Krulit, oh no, Kr Krutler, uh, Ray Vati, uh, Kolagalia, and Will Zazel for having so many difficult names in one team. Um, and also, uh, of course, making all this magic work with, with us and our partnership with Regen. And all the Berlin crew that Jess mentioned, there are so many names there, uh, but the, that uh, Jess and Jeff got to hang out with this weekend. Sean and the IXO team, uh, uh, which I already praised, and Maria, Yanesi, and Dan for all the great work stewarding the Trusted Seed. Special props to Maria for pushing forward uh, the adding DAOs to the Trusted Seed. Gary Lachance for saving the world through partying. Can't underestimate that. Sarah for bringing us to Miami. Uh, and Anna Marie for all our awesome contributions. Uh, that uh, constantly throughout the, this project, it's super cool to have her uh, wisdom in, in our on our side. <sighs> okay, thank you guys. Thank you for the great sprint. Retuning, it's happening. Uh, and we'll see you guys in two weeks. <laughs>